Hello everyone and welcome to Stamping With Ian. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, batch making cards with the Stamparatus coupled with lining up a three step stamp also with the Stamparatus. What's not to like about this? <laughs> so this is what I've been plotting. Uh, I'm using the pressed petals stamp set. I've lost track of the stamp set. I'm sure it's around somewhere. <laughs> oh dear me. What am I like, eh? Oh, I'm sure it'll turn up. Anyway, this gorgeous three step flower. Uh, the leaves, the flowers, and then some extra kind of foliage scattered around. I've used uh, Paper Zaz, Mary Merlot, Pineapple Punch and Mossy Meadow for the text. This is the Rococo Rose Gold Ribbon from the Press Pretzel Suite and I've done a, a bit of blink. So let's crack on shall we? Now that I already have from my stash two standard card ba A6 card bases two mats for those card bases and two smaller mats which we're going to be stamping on which is, that's the best and I've got those I had, I had a bit of fun <laughs> so I now have a uh, these are stamping up full wide cases I now have bases scored and folded set up done as well as various mat sizes. This is the mat, the mat one size, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and the mat two size, which is the one I'm using today. So, and of course I've already done the, I've also cut up card, <laughs> coloured cardstock as well. So yeah, I kind of had a busy time. So, we don't need those for the moment, so we'll put those over, just next over there. We do need these though and that's the stamping side. So I've already lined these up like this. What I did with this is, uh, I'll actually show you what I did actually, well as far as I can. Uh, this is the leaves. Close up the ink pads because the ink is like, you know, <laughs> goes everywhere. Right, what I did was I stamped the leaves and then I placed the flower stamp, which you can see there, on top of that and then put the plate down on it, picked it up so I knew it was right and I did the same with the top flowers and sentiment as well. So that's that done. One. I'm using two stamps because these uh, two magnets because these are quite sticky at the minute and they're, and they're kind of picking the card up. There we go. Lovely. Clean the stamp off and switch the plate round. Best stamping positioning platform ever this is. <laughs> I don't care what anybody else says about their platform of choice. I love this to bits. You know, this is marvellous. This has changed my life, this has. The Mary Merlot flowers. Quick press down. Make sure it's all right. And it is. That card. Bring this one back. It's just assembly assembly line stamping. This is. So 
push ink, close your stamp pad, otherwise fingers, elbows, cardstock, you name it, whatever gets in, gets every little, I've already got ink on my finger. <laughs> oh dear me. Push those down. Beautiful, love, love, love. Clean my ink off. These uh, photopolymer stamps do stain, but it uh, doesn't interfere with the performance of them at all. Right, next step is the extra foliage, which is over here. And for this, I've got some bright pineapple punch. Love this colour. It's the 2017-2018-2020 uh, in colour. Now, I'll be honest, this one has been a bugger to line up. I did have some tips from uh, the lovely uh, Gainer Boys over at Stamp with Joy. I mean, and this isn't too far off actually. I'm, I'm not, I'm not that upset by it. <laughs> yeah, that will do. This one. I mean, you could do it the other way around, of course, and just do all the stamping of one card. You know, but that, but as you're switching plates around, it seems more logical to do it this way. You know. Your ink pad. Put it out of the way. Lovely. Switch that around. Make sure it's going where I want it. It is. Uh, for this and even the mossy meadow. The beauty of uh, Stampratus, of course, like most positioning platforms, is if, you, if it doesn't stamp perfect first time, you just re-ink it and put it back. <laughs> And um, you know, kind of job done really. So there we go, that one's done. So final bit of stamping. Bit more ink. I'm not sure if this one's in shot actually, but uh, you can see the result kind of here, so yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Right, to clean the stamp. And then we'll get rid of that. It's a cat hair. You, uh, friends of mine who have cats, who are crafters, you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> right, I'll just get rid of that. Put it out of the way, because we don't need it anymore. There's the stamp set, the Path of Battles. <laughs> What am I like? Eh? So, now then, <clears throat> we, we get to do some assembling and uh, decorating. Our first step is uh, to attach this beautiful, beautiful ribbon. We've got some uh, solid tape here. Let's <clears throat> just get, get, get a couple of pieces off. Just a couple of small pieces. Just stick them on the end of the desk. But I need four, don't I? So, might as well do four, Ian. Right. Get your ribbon. I kind of want it around there. Cellar tape or scotch tape, I think you guys call it across the pond. Fasten it down, make sure it's level. Love it, and it goes. And a bit 
Let's have a soap. I'm done. Another one. Right, next step, we're going to attach these onto our matting pieces. I have my snail here, love this stuff. It makes card making so quick and easy. You'll notice I've gone over the ribbon as well, so just to keep it in place. This one. So, try to get my bold head in the way. Oh, no, 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 Including boo boo, you see. <laughs> That's better. Lovely. Then on the card bases, what I did was I've used dimensionals to pop them up. So. Backing papers. And place on your card base. Okay. There's this one. Right, the final, final bit, bit of bling, got to have a bit of bling. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three of these on in the centre of the uh, flowers. Just three of the flowers. Don't want to go overboard. Yeah. There's one. Right, so there we go. There's the two that we've just made, and they're the ones I made earlier. So easy with the Stampretus. Uh, you can buy one from my 24/7 uh, shop, along with all the products used here. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, ring the notification bell, ding, 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 when you subscribe, and you'll always know when I've got a new video. So, whatever you're doing today, have lots of fun, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye now.